By now, you might have already seen some headlines talking about the fact that we know when Arcane 2 is going to come out. But what many people may not realize is that if you look around, there is a lot of dots that you can connect. And you might very quickly find out that Riot is probably planning a lot of big things in the background. Which is something I'm going to show you today. But very quickly before we get into it. I just wanted to mention that this might be your last chance to get one of our plushies. If you'd like to support this channel, there is only three days left on these. But now, back into animation. So, it's been a while since we got to talk about Arcane. And to be honest, throughout that entire journey, I think I made my peace. We covered absolutely everything we could, we talked about everything we found, and we even talked about what's possible to see in the future. I'm wondering how well that one will age. But now, after quite a while of silence, we finally got some new information. And of course, that information did not come out the way Riot was planning. They really don't have the best luck when it comes to pre-planning reveals. Anyway, it all goes back to Tencent, the majority stakeholder of Riot Games, who had their own conference. It was a little presentation, which I assume was aimed at investors, where they talked about their plans, but also how the company is doing and so on. But during these presentations, oftentimes they also want to hype up the investors, so they can also talk about the products they are working on in greater detail. And on one of the slides, they talked about Arcane 2. I assume the reason they brought it up is because Arcane 2 is gonna be a big moment for all the investors. So they wanted to prepare them ahead of time. But what they likely did not realize is that the official release date for Arcane 2 was not announced yet. And still, they put it onto the presentation and now we know that Arcane 2 will come out during Q4 of 2024. Or in other words, at the end of 2024. And in other words for the other words, they are likely aiming for a similar release date as Arcane 1. Which means it will tie into the hype of the end of the season as well as Worlds. But more importantly, there is one more thing happening here. Q4 of 2024 is when League's 15th anniversary is happening. League was released on October 27th, 2009. So maybe that's the date they are aiming for. The day after my birthday, they are totally doing it for me. So yes, don't forget that the 15th anniversary will do a lot. Not only was the 10th anniversary my favorite moment in video game history, simply because I've been tied to Riot so closely, but also when Arcane launched, all the collabs and events were crazy. From all the events in games, to events in other games, to the amazing browser adventure game, to all the teasers that were happening IRL. I really wouldn't be surprised if they pushed for big things. And if for example Project L got an early playable demo during that time. I definitely wouldn't have any hopes for the MMO though. Regardless, what I'm saying is, you should definitely be hyped for Arcane 2. Not just for the show itself, but also for everything else that will be happening around it. Because they are merging so many things. You got two big events and the fact that Riot knows that Arcane 2 will be big. So really, expect big things. Hype has no limits. Surely nothing bad will happen if we overhype things. So now, once again, we got an opportunity to talk about what might actually be happening. So, in case you forgot, when Arcane 1 finished, we did actually get a teaser for Arcane 2. It was really just the letter A and the number 2 floating around, with the announcement that Arcane 2 is now in works. It was a quick animation done by I Love Dust Studio and Luke Brown, done in Houdini. That's a fun fact for you. But besides that, not much was happening here. You could hear Caitlyn's voice talking about Jinx, and how she was wondering if Jinx would murder her or... Bye. Jinx then had her little crazy talk. And at the end you hear the echoes of Warwick's howl and a little bit of his theme. Which is why it is pretty obvious that Warwick will play a big part here. However, not all things are always as they may seem. Because in the past, when Riot released all the trailers for Arcane 1, they really mastered deception. 
they very purposefully put trailers together using footage from the show, but cutting it in a way so you would never have any idea what is actually gonna happen in the show. I remember I was very confident in thinking I knew what is gonna happen, at least roughly. And then I remember how wrong I was with all of my predictions, which surprised me and it made me very happy. It means that everyone can watch all the trailers and be totally fine. So if there is one thing I want you to take away from this video, it's the fact that when trailers for Arcane 2 are going to come out, you should watch them knowing that you will not be spoiled. Yes, you will see some scenes from the show, but there is no way you can pick apart any of the story. Riot themselves don't want to spoil anything, and they are aware of the fact that they don't need to spoil anything in order to hook people for the story. So, just go wild and know that most of the theories are going to be wrong. Especially mine. I hit like one theory and that's the one with Jinx's eyes. That was a pretty cool one! Outside of that I missed a lot. Speaking of which, we can also talk about what will likely be in Arcane 2. I don't think this is a spoiler because it was proven that Arcane has a totally different story from the Core League universe, but based on the Core League universe we at least still know what characters will appear in Arcane, or at least could appear, because some of them are still missing. So I don't know if you want to consider this a spoiler. I don't think it is. I think it's more of a theory that is gonna be wrong yet again. Anyway, one of my favorite characters in Arcane was Victor. The version of his story we got in the Core League universe was always stellar. Even though Legends of Runeterra and also Convergence are painting him as a weird villain. But besides that, I always loved him. And I also love him in Arcane. There are some differences there. For example, in Arcane, he is more focused on the magic part of his affliction. But I have to say, the scene where he started running for the first time was so godly. And honestly, in Arcane 2, I just really want to see his journey of improving his own body. What I believe will happen is that Victor's body will become more and more volatile. Or at the very least, his mind will probably start to break. Because he's essentially infusing his body with magic using Shimmer. Not to mention the fact that Shimmer likely has some links to the Void, which is not gonna be nice. But of course we learned that magic can be controlled with science. And so he will likely mechanically augment his body to keep himself intact. This is a totally wild guess. But I think this is how you can turn his journey into an emotional roller coaster. His condition starts to get better using magic or anti-magic until it turns volatile and his only option is to fix his own body using science. However, there is also one more thing Victor is heavily connected to and that's Blitzcrank. He is the one who created Blitzcrank. Originally, he created this golem to help Zonites deal with chemical disasters. It is literally a helping robot sentient enough to wander the streets on its own. And honestly, I am very curious to see how Riot will tackle this. Now, another amazing character I loved in Arcane was Singed. In the core universe, Singed is the best, creepiest, horror-filled mad scientist we can get. Now, even though his arcane version is good too, he is miles ahead in the core universe. And I hope Arcane will start catching up with that, because there he really shines as a mad scientist with all the right reasons, but who will never be stopped by morale at any point. Singed still has the best horror story from League's universe and there he's just doing all of his experiments. That one really shows what he's capable of doing to other people. And since Warwick will likely be part of Arcane 2, I am pretty sure we will learn what he's truly about. And some people might get surprised. And yes, I believe he will also have all the right reasons in Arcane 2. Because remember, at the end of season 1, it was teased that Singed might have a daughter. Whether that one will turn out to be Oriana, time will tell. But I wouldn't be surprised if he was doing all the experiments with Shimmer just because he wants to find a way to heal his daughter. Or alternatively, bring her back. But next, we should not forget about Heimeringer and Echo. 
these two are not something I expected to see. But I am really looking forward to this one because these two will make a really good dynamic duo. At first it might seem like a master and apprentice, but there is honestly a lot more to this. For example, the two are the exact opposites of each other. Heimerdinger's story is all about the descent into Zorn. He was pretty much rejected by Piltover's high society. But on the other side, you have Echo who is being lifted up with technology. He is still a true Zonite, I don't think anything will change that. But his tech will get refined. And eventually he will also make his Z drive, which is the device that will allow him to travel back in time a few seconds. I would honestly also love some cameos from some other characters such as Professor Von Yip or even Camille. But at this point I believe Arcane 2 will focus on smaller stories that are part of a greater picture. So just like in Arcane 1 you had Jinx and Vi on one side and Jace and Victor on the other side, with Singed, Silco and Vander in the middle, I think Arcane 2 will focus on Jinx, Vi, Caitlyn and Savika on one side, Victor and Singed both augmenting bodies on the other side, which also includes Warwick, and Heimerdinger and Echo in the middle. I don't think they really need to shove in more characters such as Urgot or Zeri. Although, speaking of Urgot, I do believe we will see more of the entire Noxian storyline. Remember, spoiler alert, there are many theories that suggest that Mel will survive. And if she survives, she will not be in a great condition. Which means that Noxians will likely try to replace her. So maybe Noxus will play a bigger role here. Which means, and this is the reason why I brought this up in the first place, Urgot might make an appearance. Originally, Urgot was a Noxian general who was betrayed and he was sent into Zonite mines. Now, the timeline would be off by a few years, but at this point we know that Arcane is not afraid of changing the story if they want to make something good. So, who knows? Maybe? But next, there is one more thing we can mention. Remember, when it comes to League of Legends, Arcane 1 also gave us some skins. We got Jinx, Vi, Caitlyn and Jace, with Echo coming in a bit later. And I am pretty sure Arcane 2 will also give us some skins. Now looking at the characters that will likely appear during Season 2, we can make some pretty good predictions when it comes to these skins. Right now I feel really confident about two of them. Those would be Victor and Heimerdinger. Victor would be there to fill in the space next to Jace. And Heimerdinger simply has his own new cool design. That design is so cool, they even gave him his own plushie. So I think that's what we'll get. But still, that leaves us with two more open spaces. And I believe these will be filled with Arcane Singed, who might also be connected to Arcane Warwick. I don't really feel that confident about Warwick, but who else are they gonna put there? And lastly, there's actually one more thing we can mention. Originally, for Arcane 1, Riot was planning some new champions to kick up the hype. In fact, they were planning on two new Zonite champions to come out during Arcane. However, because of unfortunate delays, both of them were moved onto the next year. And those turned out to be Renata and Zeri. So now I'm wondering, is Riot planning more new champions tied to Arcane? Or at least tied to Piltover and Zone. I wonder if it's time. I wonder if Professor Von Yip will break through. But honestly, I would really love Savika as a champion too. That is such an underrated character. Right after Marcus. But you know what? I don't think Marcus is gonna make it as a new champion. 